In this video, we're going to migrate refined for Confluence server slash data center to refined sites for Confluence cloud. So I'm going to start this off by running the Confluence cloud migration assistant and migrate my Confluence content first to cloud. So I create a new migration in the migration assistant, connect to my cloud site that I have already set up here. And then I go ahead and go through the steps of the migration assistant. This is the Atlassian migration assistant, of course. Review the different options that come up during the pre-migration check, make my adjustments as needed. And then I go ahead and run the migration. So this will take uh, some time depending on what content you have on Confluence. I've skipped forward here a little bit, but now I'm going to go ahead and check to see, yes, all my spaces are migrated to cloud as expected. Now I can go ahead and migrate Refined. So I've installed Refined on my cloud. Uh, it's not set up yet, of course. On server data center, I'm running the latest version of Refined, which has cloud migration mode active, and I can then begin to export my site to cloud. I go through the migration assistant here, and the second step here, setting up different links. So for links that I want replaced with something else on cloud, I can add rules here to do the same. Some of them I want the same link, like the FAQs here, for example. But I can go through these and set them up as needs be. Then I continue, and I get some options for layout modules on the landing pages on my site. And I can go ahead either and replace unavailable modules or exclude them. I get some feature differences between server and cloud. We very much encourage you to read through these so you know exactly what that site will look like on cloud and what will be migrated and not. So for example, themes will not be migrated. You need to recreate these manually. And we have another video showing you how to do this. Go ahead and check the different options here and how they would behave on cloud. And then you go through that and you can then download the zip file for your site. Now it's exported. And the next step is importing it on the cloud side. So now that I have the file, I click on Get Started in Cloud. Go ahead and import the server or data center site. I can name it similar to what I had on the server side. Add in a subdomain for that site where it will be accessed. And you can add a custom domain later in the configuration if needed and then simply upload that zip file. And that's it. My site has now been imported on cloud. The site structure, the different spaces and, and categorization that I had set up on server is automatically moved on the cloud side. There we go. And I can review then the, the site and read more on the documentation to get a f full understanding of the differences between what I had on server, what I have now on cloud, uh, and also the different functionality that I have now access to on cloud. I can go ahead here and visit the site to see what it looks like. And once it's loaded and sent me to my site, then there we go, I have the site. As you can see here, the theme is not migrated, so the theme is different. The navigation menu and the spaces, these are automatically migrated since I have migrated both the Confluence content and then run the refined migration assistance. So I can access the spaces and the content the same way that I could on server. I can read these on the cloud side as well. I can also then change the theme. So as mentioned, we have another video showing you how to recreate the theme, but I've done that in advance for this one. And now I've set the same theme and essentially now I've been able to migrate the full site to cloud. Hope this has been useful. If you have questions for us, please reach out via our help center, help.refine.com.